clouds, Barry. <laughs> it's like, a, it's like a repeat. Ton of clouds yeah. and virtually no wind around here. So or no it's, sun. It's going to be calm and virtually no sun. But some people are seeing some of that right now. Near just some of the western, southwestern suburbs is brightening up a little bit, getting a little bit of sunshine, trying to break through the clouds. And uh, so it's not going to be a washout weekend, that's for sure. So let's check out that weekend forecast. For you, it looks like tomorrow we have a, a shot of going up into the 60s as we see it for tomorrow. It should be mainly in the middle 60s. And it looks like it's going to be a damp start. So there's probably going to be some rain around for a while first thing in the morning. Then it looks like we should break out into a little bit of sunshine. We'll see that in the maps in just a little bit. Then Sunday, it looks like rain is likely again across especially southern New England and especially from late morning through the afternoon hours. It's going to be cool and raw around upper 40s to lower middle 50s. These are your current temperatures of 50 in Boston right now. we got mid 50s and maybe a few upper 50s southeastern Massachusetts because they're seeing a little bit of sunshine there. But where it is nice and sunny and warm is Richmond, 82 right now. New York City, 54. So we're right on the edge of having that warm air so close but just not making it in today. What is making it, though, is a band of showers and even containing a little bit of lightning here in the Berkshires, western Massachusetts. Looks like the, it's really pouring out there right now. So it looks like this band of showers will continue to move east, so be prepared for some showers, maybe some isolated lightning, especially in Worcester County westward. Some of these showers look like they're probably going to start to weaken as they head to eastern Massachusetts as the afternoon progresses. Then we'll have temperatures falling down tonight to the upper 40s and lower 50s, so really not too much of a temperature drop. There will be some more showers tonight, and tomorrow's highs, upper 50s, mid 50s along the coast, the low and middle 60s inland. There will be an onshore breeze, but not a powerful one. These will be highs tomorrow. Again, we're sort of in the cold corner of the country. Once again, we have that so much of the time here when we get into spring especially April into May, but there's a lot of warm air across the country, that's for sure. And then let's look at what's going to be happening. We got this wave of low pressure coming along and several other little ripples of low pressure along this front. What else is new? It's the same old weather pattern we've been having. So those showers coming in from the west this afternoon, temperatures may get close to 60 southeastern mass. Then it looks like another little batch of showers comes through tonight. And then more showers come in tomorrow morning. Here's a time stamp up here in the upper right corner. So it should be kind of wet for a while tomorrow morning, kind of damp. And in the afternoon, it starts to show some brightening and some drier comes down from the north during the afternoon. But I wouldn't count on a huge amount of sunshine, especially north and west of Boston, best chance of seeing the most developing during tomorrow afternoon. And then guess what? We have more rain which comes back in and that starts around mid to late morning on Sunday. Right now, it looks like a southern New England event, but it looks like it should get heavier later Sunday afternoon into Sunday night. So it's kind of an unsettled forecast. It continues that way, but here, here are the numbers right now. It's mid-50s, few places near 60 southeastern Mass this afternoon. We get the rain. It's going to damp start tomorrow morning, but a few breaks of sun possible in the afternoon. It comes back, and it rains again by later Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. Then next week, I think we're ready for some warm weather. We've been ready for the last month for some warm weather, but it's coming next week, probably 60s and 70s. Chris? All right.